do you want to be average looking? I don't want to be average looking. I want to be above average, more than above average. I want to look amazing. And if you're like, yo, Alpha, sh dude shouldn't care about what they look like, then you are an idiot and you're not going to have all the opportunities that I am and my good looking dudes that are out there in the Alpha M house. Today, guys, I'm going over a few mistakes that are keeping you looking average. If you break them, good news. Your looks from a 6 to an 11.5. The first mistake that you're making that's keeping you looking average is not growing facial hair. Now, if you can't grow facial hair, that's fine. But facial hair is kind of like the equivalent to makeup for women, right? They look better with a little smoky eye, a little blush, a little lipstick, a little lip gloss, gentlemen. Dudes look better with facial hair, period, end of story. Second reason why you look average is your clothes don't fit you. Gentlemen, that is the biggest mistake that I see so many potentially amazing and handsome, sexy dudes making. They're wearing clothing that's way too big. Their shirts are big and baggy. They got big, baggy pants that are puddling at the ankle. They're wearing suits that are like two sizes too big when all you got to do is size down. Little Alpha M shopping pro tip. Next time you're going shopping for anything, I want you to size down, all right? Whether or not you're buying a shirt, right? If you're normally a large, try the medium. If you're normally a large regular, try the slim fit. Size down. If you're normally like a 42 regular suit, try the 40 regular. Size down. Try it. You can always size up if you feel like a sausage. Number three, you don't work out. All right, now I'm just, I'm just, I'm just tossing it out there because I'm keeping it real. You got to work out. If you don't work out, yes, congratulations. You look average. You got man boobs. You're sloppy. You got a dad bod. Dad bods are basic. They're boring. Gentlemen, you don't want to be skinny fat either. Get your ass in the gym. If you want to automatically take your looks from a 6 to an 11.7, you got to start taking care of your body because the other interesting thing is that when your body looks better, your clothing looks better on your body. The next reason why you're looking average is that you're you're not showing enough skin. Skin to win, gentlemen, in terms of looking your best, all right? This includes like buttoning way too many buttons, right? Whether or not it's a polo, a Henley, or your button-up shirt, you got to make sure it's unbuttoned enough to actually expose the top area of your chest or your pecs. And forearms, are you kidding me? Forearms are like the sexiest body part according to Spicy Senoritas. They go loco over a dude's forearms. If they're muscular, a little vascular, Forget about it. Also, sleeves, right? Can't have them be too long, not too short. It's all about exposing a little tricep action, right? Your tricep makes up two thirds of the size of your arms. It's not just your buys. Your tries actually make your arms look bigger. And so, if you're wearing a short sleeve shirt, you gotta make sure those tries are actually exposed in order to make your guns look great. Accessories, gentlemen, are you doing it? If not, you're totally missing out on a style opportunity. The one thing that's going to take your outfit to the next level is the accessories. It's what's going to set you apart from all your boys that are wearing the same exact thing all right so what i recommend a watch is a must your belt game gentlemen what is your belt looking like mine happens to right now be a camo anson with a gold buckle which in my opinion is the sexiest belt in the history of belts look at that right it's fun it's playful it's fresh it's a canvas belt but the cool thing and the thing that you're going to notice about anson belts are that there are no holes right it's clean as opposed to what most of your average ass belts look like this, right? You're like, yo, Alpha, why does your Anson look so much better than my belt? The answer is simple, gentlemen, right there. Boom. See that? That is the track system. Micro adjustments, all right? The way that it works, the buckle, slide it in. Listen, wait for it. Hear that, right? It locks into place. And there's a little trigger on the bottom to release it. The other amazing thing about ants and belts is that all of their belts and buckles are interchangeable. If I wanted to change the belt or the look of this outfit, right, I just pick my black strap, right? I've got black leather, I've got black suede, I've got black canvas, all right? And then I just pick the buckle, lock it into place. Check it out, how sexy is that? But check this out, you want something even sexier? Look at that, black with the matte black Anson buckle, right? This belt is so sick, all right? And it's a quick and easy way to really take your accessory game to the next level not to mention all of your belts actually start to look sexy as opposed to beat up and rough <laughs> amazing is that the other cool thing that i love about anson belt is that all the straps are one size fits all you get them you measure them you cut them attach your buckle you're good to go the cool thing guys is that they've got a ton of different strap options check it out this is a small sample i actually own 47 anson belts i'm addicted to them honestly because they're so great because you can really add a flavor and pop a color to any 
outfit, right? They've got grays, they've got browns, they've got blacks, they've got all sorts of like fun canvas options with different colors. Here's another one, the blue and white, another one of my go-to pair of jeans, right? White polo, white sneakers, totally classic and sexy. Guys, and like I said, they also have a ton of buckles to pick from. Wish I had bigger hands to show you more, but they've got gunmetal, they've got brush, they've got black, they've got gold, they've got antique brass, they've got silver, they've got pretty much anything you're looking for, guys, whatever your taste is. Guys, I'm gonna link to Anson down below. That link, it's actually special. They're giving you a deal that's pretty awesome. You gotta go through that link, you can't just go to their website. And what you're gonna do, you actually can actually get a box set for under $100. You get to pick three buckles and two straps. You can pick one canvas, one leather, two leather, it's up to you. You're gonna get six belts in total in terms of combinations for under 100 bucks. There's no better belt bang for your buck out there on the market, period. They also have like some exotic skins like crocodile, not to mention like Italian calf skin. Anson has really upped their game in the past few years, guys. If you haven't checked them out, now is the time. They got more belts than ever, more straps than ever, and the deal down below is insane. Guys, Anson belt, take your look from average to amazing. The next reason why you look average is that you're shopping at the same average stores time and time again. You gotta step outside the box. We talk about it all the time, but if you are consistently shopping in the same basic boring stores, you're never going to push yourself, stylistically speaking. You're gonna dress just like all your friends, which is another reason why you look average. Everybody around you dresses the same. Be better than basic business casual, right? I get it, right? All your boys are wearing very safe chinos. Right? They're tanned, they're fine. The button up shirt, it's all right. Doesn't fit well, but it's fine. Now don't get me wrong. I love like solid tones and patterns and palettes, right? They're fine, I love them, they're incredible. But if you really wanna take it next level, if you learn how to combine different patterns, whether or not it's a plaid pant, a check shirt, a striped tie, understanding how to utilize patterns and combine them properly is going to automatically make you spicy in terms of style. So there's nothing wrong with a solid suit, right? Navy gray a classic of course it works with every shirt and and most ties right but if you want to go a little bit above and beyond do something a little more fun check it out look at that pattern right the light blue with the glen plaid it's a nice way to really set yourself apart and dress up a little bit another option right instead of gray maybe something like this right something with a nice pattern now if it's your first suit i would definitely go solid but once you get outside of that and start playing around experiment with different patterns you're going to get a lot more compliments here's another blue with a nice little subtle pattern that's also super sexy. One of my favorites and most complimented suits, it's a chocolate suit with a blue chalk stripe. Every time I wear a suit with a pattern, I get more compliments than when it's actually solid. But like I said, if it's your first suit, go solid. But once you start getting into suits, you might wanna go with something with a little more fun pattern that's going to actually make you more than average. The next reason why people perceive you as average is that you smell average, right? Whether or not you're wearing the same fragrance as everybody else or you're wearing a fragrance that you've worn for years you gotta step outside of your box you gotta wear something that's gonna give you a little more attitude and edge and really keep people guessing right because that's one of the problems with wearing the same fragrance all the time people get used to it even if it smells incredible you gotta switch it up every once in a while what I would recommend is get four fragrances and rotate them weekly possibly daily and the last mistake that's making you look average is weak body language right body language is one of those things the nonverbal communicating that you're doing is critical to you being perceived as attractive and the best you can, right? Even if you're dressed well, but you've got bad body language, whether or not you're not making eye contact, a weak handshake, you sit weird, or you're constantly engaged on your phone, guys, unfortunately, this is going to reduce the amount of attraction that you are emanating. People make judgments and opinions on you in the first three seconds upon meeting you. It's all the nonverbal communicating that you're doing. And if you want to be perceived as the most attractive as possible, you've got to make sure you're paying attention to your grooming, to your style, the way that you stand, the way that you carry yourself, the way that you smell. Guys, if you're not, unfortunately, you're going to be viewed as average. And average people, unfortunately, are not kicking as much ass as you need to kick in order to dominate this life. Gentlemen, you're amazing. Now stop being average.